hello guys welcome to my channel if this is the first time you are seeing my face on your screen my name is Insung Rawili and I share content on master's application live as an international student in France. I do vlog and share that useful content. So if this is the kind of content you have interest in, please do kindly subscribe, like our videos, share the videos and help us to grow. In this video, we'll be discussing about bachelor's application and how to apply for a bachelor's program in France. Yes, I'm mentioning we because I'm inviting someone to the channel to share with us his experience, how he went about applying for a bachelor's program here in France. What is it like to study or to apply for a bachelor's program and what are the different processes and the steps? Just to give some disclaimers, whatsoever we'll be sharing in this video is just based on our own specific experiences and the specific circumstances so like i mentioned it's going to be we because i invited someone here to come and share with us his experience how he applied for bachelor's program in france and i hope that it's going to help you first of all i'd like him to introduce himself hello guys my name is matthew um i'm an engineer student here in france studying chemistry and physics at cy Surgery paris university okay all right nice to meet you matthew <laughs> nice to meet you too <laughs> so first of all why did you choose france why france um, I chose France because um, France has affordable university compared to other countries like the UK and um, US, and and also its um its, its standard of living is also affordable compared to also those countries. Second question I have is how did you get to find out about your program, your course? Like, how did you know about it? Um, for me, it was very straightforward. I contacted Campus France. That was the first step I took. Okay. I I got in contact with them, sent them an email. And, and they reply me with some links and also um, other important information. And um, so I make research. Then I saw this my program here, and it was not, I won't say um, cheap, but um, affordable for me. So I decided to go with this one, and um, that was it. Okay, so the next question I have is actually on your application requirements and the procedures, like the documents, the steps with the school and campus front. Firstly, um, you make your research and you see the schools that uh, um, that you would like to um, apply to. And um, when you see the schools, you go to, to, to the website, um, to the website of the campus front, then you see the requirements for the school. Mm -hmm. Then you try to get the documents ready for the, um, the open the window or the open the, the window of application for for the schools and um during the during the um the windows you 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 go to the campus one website um open your, create an account open, open your document you know you, you get your yac your transcript mm -hmm. your motivation letter and um just basically your passport and all those things get them ready before the um the the, the, the application window so the next question i actually wanted to ask is was your visa procedure but then i've already made a video on visa like a detailed almost 30 minutes video on what you need to apply for your visa so please go and check that video to know more in detail about how to apply for your study visa after you have already like gone through campus france okay so the next question i have for you is actually the program structure how is the program structure you know is a bachelor's program normally in nigeria and other West African countries yeah. is always within three to four years or four to five years, depending on the, this thing. So, how is the program structure here for this program? Um, for France, it's um it's three years, and um it's it's not like um like Nigeria that is like first hundred level, two hundred level, two hundred level. In in France, yeah, it's referred to um L one, L two, and L three. Yeah. So um and when you are done with your L three, you are done with bachelor's degree. Okay. So you, then you you further your education to like um you go for your masters. At the moment now, I, I'm doing my um uh, my, my like a diploma. Mm -hmm. So it's after like like the second year I will integrate into L one. And um, during this diploma, we um the the subjects are um that I'm doing now is um math, computer science, um physics, chemistry, mm -hmm. and um. French because we are doing much of chemistry and physics during this first year and uh, um, you you can be able to go to L2 during the second year mm -hmm. but in the case of computer science you are doing like very very little computer science which um, is not um, able to give you that required credit to go to the to, um, sec second year, second year. Mm -hmm. so you have to go to um, L1 mm -hmm. back to um, L1 to start from L1 mm. So at the end of the day, it's still like the same four years. Yes, like, the same four years. Normal. Okay. Then the French, how, how is it like? Is it more of like just two hours of French? No, 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 no. The French classes are 
on, on Fridays from on 1 p.m. to 6 okay. every Friday. So okay. that's 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 good. Okay. And so first of all, this diploma, this first year diploma stuff is actually in English, right? Or is in English. You have been taught in English. Yes, I'm being taught in English and um, um the second year from second year upward they they be um be taught in fully in French. Okay. So I guess um that's that's why it's really important to take your French classes very serious during this first during this first year because from second year it's going to be all French. All right, that's great. And so um so far I mean it's been maybe three months since you started it. I think it's three months now. So how has it been like in terms of the um, the experience? At first when I got here it was a little bit difficult for me, but I think I'm getting used to the system and also um the um the the educational system and, and the France system in general. Mm -hmm. So um, when I got here at first, the the first um, the first month, my, my, my classes was um, uh, um, throughout the week, Monday to Friday. But from um, from November is um, they gave us um, um, Wednesday off, which is which um, which which now make it um, Monday Tuesday. Thursday and Friday. In your own opinion, what would you say are some of the challenges you have faced just being that you are entering into a new country and so on with different languages? One of the challenges I, I, I faced was, because, at first, it was the trans transport system. You know, coming from Nigeria and um, it was very, it, it was like a very different, different system for me. Mm -hmm. So I just try not to get lost. Okay. And also secondly was the food. And um, you, you know, coming from Nigeria, Getting getting Nigerian food and uh, was not was not really easy for me and mm. they are kind of expensive compared to um, the the food here. So you have to go to um, African markets and mm -hmm. try to get African food from mm -hmm. there. Okay, so like um, so for you now after this one year, what do you wish to do after the one year diploma stuff? Yeah, um, after this 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 um the first year, mm -hmm. the second year. I will go to um because I, I would like to study um computer science on um, for, for for my second year, so I'll be starting from L one computer science from okay. from um, from second year. Okay, and then there could be a possibility for you to do your masters. Do you think? Are you thinking about that? Yes, of course I will do my masters, and for masters I will be doing um software engineering uh, okay. after my my bachelor's. I'll be doing software engineering for masters. Okay. Next question I wanted to ask is. If any, how did my channel help you? If any, the channel really helped me in the case of at least I've I've been following the videos right from last like last year. So all the videos you've 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 posted, I've been watching them. Mm. I got um a lot of information from 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 your from your videos and um mm. like most most of the ones you you posted on how to get accommodations, how to apply, and how to apply for scholarship because. I also applied for scholarship, but uh, I was not I was not given to, given mm. to. But mm. um, I think. Yeah, I think you mentioned that in the second year there's a possibility for you to get like some school fees reduction. Yes, yes. Um, because my the, my program that I'm doing now is actually five thousand euros. Um, the the um, the tuition fees five five thousand euros. Mm -hmm. But from from second year, because you'll be doing your course your courses in 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 fully French. fully French, then you get to pay the same fee as fresh fresh national students okay. so you, which, which is like 200 some euros okay that's great so literally yeah i think literally for the next four years and so on yeah yeah oh sorry three years it's going to be more on a reduced side for you yes. okay I think, and i think by the time you are done with you are going to already be like your french will be well you will be well integrated into like the french so that's the other advantages for you so yes, that's yes. Okay, so the next one, just for us to run up this video, and I don't want it to be very long. I don't want it to be long. I want it to be like very short. So, what are the recommendations that you give to like other persons out there that maybe that thinking of studying abroad? Firstly, is do your research. Do your research properly. Mm -hmm. The internet is free. Go go in there and um, make your research, mm -hmm. and also contact some some people that have that have done the same thing you have. Uh, that you, you want, want to, to do, do. yes mm -hmm. and also uh, yes get get much info get as much information as, as you want mm -hmm. as you as you can get yeah and i used to mention don't be scared of sending email like you mentioned earlier that the first thing he was to send email to campus france and he was able to get links so if you're ever stuck don't hold back from you no know, sending emails to either the school or whatsoever thing to see how they could be of help in the start another thing i want to add is that there are always challenges everywhere no matter where you want to go to there are always like different regulations challenges that might 
hinder you or might want to discourage you to like taking a step towards your development but the thing is just for you to have the courage because like when i was speaking with matthew first i was talking about how the second like from the second he's going to be doing it in french i was like i was like guy you're really courageous like <laughs> that's a lot of courage you know to to just dip in or dive in and knowing that from the second year you'll be learning totally in a different language but i think the good thing is that this first day because you're having like more of intensive french class lots of hours compared to you to like a master so i think it's a it's a great one yeah yeah but i think you have touched everything i'm not sure if there are other things you have not touched anyways if you have questions or there is something that he mentioned or we mentioned that it was not really so clear to you please ask your questions make sure you have watched the video like properly because he has really like touched a lot of points and like i mentioned about the visa i've already made a video on the visa so try and go and watch it and the document that you might need i've made a video on study abroad documents please go and watch it and the one specific for campus france by the time they open it like later later this year on their portal you're going to see all the documents they want there so you don't have to like worry but just now try to you know, gather your document try and research on the school that you you would like so that by the time it's time for you to apply you are already ready with your document like you mentioned it was already ready with his document so you know just to save yourself some time and the energy and if you need any like more personalized guidance personalized assistance you want to talk to someone no one-on-one -on -one. don't hesitate to like reach out to me check on the description i've put it there i'm going to put in the description as well um the school that matthew is going to and how to find other english bachelor courses because everyone needs to ask me about it i'm going to put in the description as well and you can reach out to matthew on his instagram i'm going to put his handle as well in the description if you want to ask him any question feel free to reach out to him and follow him on instagram as well okay so we are going to end this video at this point thank you for watching this video lastly if you have watched this video up to this point and you have not liked the video you have not shared you have not commented you're not, not giving me a thumbs up or subscribe please this is the time for you to do so subscribe to the channel help us to grow share this video to other persons that might find it useful and i'm going to see you in my next video bye Let's take a break, please. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I go through. <laughs> All right. I think that the time will be entering. I will not suffer for this interview. And lastly, if I watch this video up to this point and you have not liked, you have not shared, you have not commented. Okay, I think that was too much energy. <laughs> Thank you.